Why you leave Alda? Esiet sveicināti BetSafe YouTube kanālā, mani sauc Jurijs Žigājevs un tas ir tavs gājiens. Pēc neliela pārtraukuma esam atpakaļ un ar super viesi, ar super viesi futbola kluba Auda galveno treneri Tomislavu Stipiču. Runāsim angļu valodā un cerams, ka čāļi no Go Examimo uzliks mums subtitru. Tomislav, nice to meet you from, nice meet you. Uh, from uh, March. I was uh, thinking about uh, the best time to to speak with you, to to make a chance to speak with you, because uh, from the first game, everybody in Latvia was uh, only in a good mindset about you, <laughs> about your energy, about uh, your team was playing. So thank you very much. But first, I want to ask you. You are in on Instagram and you told me that uh, you wasn't there, you didn't like it. Why you have this time, uh, this moment to <laughs> to go to this social media world? Um, first of all, uh, Yudis, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. I'm really uh, happy to be a part of your popular uh, show and uh, podcast. I hope uh, many, many people will watch our, our, our show and uh, with uh, chips or, or cola in their hand and enjoying our entertainment and our content. And now to answer your question, um, um, I had m many different experiences in my life and uh, also this uh, education from parents, it was very old school uh, because mm -hmm. my parents come from, from Croatia, I'm born in Croatia and then I grew up in Germany in Ingolstadt and one city close to Munich where is car factory Audi. Now we can yeah. make a little marketing for them. No, but uh, I worked also in this in this company and and then it was really so old, a little old communism education then with the German uh, style. And then I was so scared about Instagram to open my my inside life. And OK, now um, I many, many offers, many, many happens in my life and then I decided, OK, let's share something with uh, publicity and but just about work. And but you share not only like your pictures, like Instagram is was like more for photo. You share with quotes, with uh, some uh, clever, uh, clever ideas. Uh, it's uh, it's your way of uh, style of life to to share with people. I think it's uh, most important in, in, I think also in life and in social media is to be authentic, mm -hmm. to be, to be yourself, you know, and I know um, now it may be, I know border between confidence and arrogance is very small yeah. and I'm, I think I'm from natural uh, guy who, who come from zero, who come from bottom and f who was you know, able to fight to, to, to um, achieve some, some new, new, new goals. But uh, what I want to say is uh, this, this me, you know, this me. And many people told me you are interested for this, you are interested for this. And uh, my life is like high intense if you, if you analyze exactly past and uh, actually. No, for me, I think uh, in, uh, in our time, in uh, 2022, if you are a sportsman or a coach, public uh, like figure you need social media it's uh, many many people no want to know about you so i wish you luck on instagram <laughs> and uh, make 10000 followers for, for for start i think you are very popular in um, croatia no ah um, i don't know i think um, i i yeah maybe popular or i just uh, because I'm little Croatian, I'm little German, mm -hmm. I worked in Asia, I worked in Switzerland, I worked with children, uh, then I worked with professional team, with amateurs teams in 11 league. For example, I started as player and coach. After every single game, you should go and drink some beer with people to, to, to feel uh, real Then you emotions. start to love football, yes? Yes, this is <laughs> <laughs> yes and this, that's why, you know, this is my person and that's why I'm, uh, that's why uh, in people in Croatia was a little surprised uh, how, how is my package and because mm -hmm. with accent little and this, but... Um, about your work on TV, we'll speak later. I want to ask you uh, first uh, question about how, the, how you get here and uh, what you was uh, thinking about Latvia, about Latvian football before? You, you was uh, know something, I don't know, like players, teams? 
Yeah, of course. I, I know. Uh, I know you played also football, yeah. also number ten, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like my Stjopa. But <laughs> I know everybody. I think in Europe, no, Mardi Svetakovski. Okay. He played also for Hajduk Split. This is uh, one of the famous clubs in our country. They mm. have many, many supporters, and uh, I, and also that's why everybody know Latvia because. And uh, I study in Hamburg and High Svau and Thorsten Fink's. Ah, Rudnevs. Yes, Rudnevs was the uh, striker. I study um, and learn at this time, 2014, from Thorsten. And what I want to say is uh, that's why I know a little from uh, from Latvia before I come here. It wasn't like black pitch for you, no? No, 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 no. It was for me. It was important, you know, uh, to to stay in first league in Europe. Mm -hmm. Because after my experience in Croatia uh, and after my experience in Switzerland, in Zurich, it is now in a row, uh, third different country in first league. It's good for my CV and that's why I, 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 I choose Latvia and I need to maybe to, to uh, say here thanks to Thorsten because he recommend me to Auda. He, he, he recommend, he maybe send some uh, few words mm -hmm. uh, for my direction and for the direction of our club to, to take. Uh, before we started the uh, conversation, you said that uh, you are with uh, Thorsten uh, good friends and also I watch uh, your CV and there was, I didn't understand for 100% that uh, um, you work with Thorsten Fink, with Rangnick, uh, in which way? What is it, what is it about? Oh no, this is uh, just, uh, for example, uh, my education, internship, what I did uh, during my during my study. Yes, during my life yeah. as coach, ah. I study, for example, uh, uh, in Hamburg. Thorsten, uh, Thorsten Fink was head coach. I study uh, in Red Bull. Uh, Ralf Rangnick was head coach. I study in Bayern Munich. Uh, Carlo Angelotti was head coach. I study in uh, in. So no, uh, UEFA UEFA Pro courses, you speak. Yes, or? about also you need some study for UEFA Pro license, mm -hmm. but also. I went uh, after season or when we have uh, uh, some uh, breaks, I went to these clubs and I asked it before, can I come and learn from you, learn from mm -hmm. you, still with eyes, you know, it's just... Uh, Not helping, just watching, like, uh, yes? Just be on, 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 on the right pick? side of okay. coach to, okay. to ask him to, to, you know, like sponge, to, to, to take every single okay. word, you know. I can, uh, I can remember when I was study. In Bayern Munich, uh, Carlo Angelotti was head coach, and I asked him, Carlo, because you won in, I think, I asked him, Mister, you won in four different countries, you won Champions title, or in five different countries, Champions title, and in four different Champions League. And before uh, he doesn't won with Real Madrid Champions League, this season he won. Yeah. And now in five different countries, Champions League, and uh, what also, is the secret? Yeah. Hey, what is the secret? And he told me, Coach, just scan your players. Scan their abilities, scan their characters, and let it on natural position play. They should play with instinct. They must be creative. Of course, about defense, is, is organization, is discipline, is hard work. It's easy, you see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, about uh, Carlo Ancelotti, uh, for me, I think not every every coach will open. For for example, you are a young coach, study, and you came to Ancelotti. Ancelotti can say, okay. Yeah. Here is this, but he don't tell uh, everything, no? This is an interesting question, because I think um, you have some rules mm -hmm. or some principles in your life, but uh, how one person knock on your door, you will open. Yes. This is always about us. You know, how I asked him, how I, how I was uh, patient mm -hmm. and how I was uh, calm if you are in make, the right moment. If you are make uh, first, uh, like, hello yes. wrong, he will close, yes? Maybe, Maybe, but I think he has a big level and he will yeah. give you a chance, but he will not open mm -hmm. like he opened to me. So, you, in, in this way, you uh, know Thorsten Fink, yes? Uh, like, uh, and from that uh, moment you was friends? No, I, uh, before? I, before I was under, I was uh, in FC Ingolstadt. This, mm -hmm. uh, at this time was this club in second division in Germany. Second one. Uh, second Bundesliga and I was uh, in academy uh, coach and Thorsten Fink was uh, head coach of, of first okay. team. So my question is, you in Latvia first time was like you playing against uh, Thorsten or was before? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yes, it was first time, first time I played against him here. Officially game, yes. Tell me about your feelings here. What, what do you feel? Is it something special or not? Because uh, about this in Latvia, I think nobody knows in, uh, like, uh, that you was friends. No, we are privacy friends, but uh, if I play against, uh, I don't know, my brother, I will try to, to beat to him. Yeah. And uh, it was very big fight uh, um, with Auda against, uh, against Torsten Fink and yeah. also last game against uh, Riga FC with different coach because uh, I'm, uh, I'm in the front and I'm leader of FK Auda and okay, we had secretary on the bench <laughs> in you, second you, game. <laughs> no, Kaspas, okay. uh, he was second goalkeeper and we had just three players on the bench, but uh, we tried to win. Doesn't matter who is on bench or who is on field. We tried to, to, to give everything for, for, for winning. I don't know, maybe it's like not a good question, but uh, this many players, so many players uh, are in Auda from Riga, in loan. Uh, for you, like coach, what do you feel? It's like uh, a little bit unfair, no? Because I see that uh, also with this squad, what you have, you make good fight or two games. Yes. 1-0, uh, 1-0. Yes. yes. And yeah. 81st, yeah, second minute. Yeah, in the, in the end of the games. So it's not like... Un not comfortable that if I have three, four players, we beat them. Yes, but you know, um, as coach, also during my career, I learned one important thing. Don't, um, don't go somewhere where it's not your space. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have some, uh, we have organization. Inside in this organization, we have clear rules. And uh, also nobody, nobody, uh, tell me uh, how I need to play, which kind of formation, which kind of player should play, mm -hmm. uh, who should sit on the bench. That's why when my organization decides to send four players to Riga FC, to send some players to Croatia or to Portugal, or doesn't matter, I agree with everything because I'm soldier of FK Auda, of this organization. It's yes, and I respect uh, their decisions and they respect my decisions and this is you know, it's it's nice, nice, nice work together. And I know our starting point, especially against the Riga FC, is different. And but this is this is normal. Mm. This is now you have three points to Liepaja in fifth place. Uh, a little bit uh, more than half of season is uh, back. Uh, you are happy? What you see in table, in the team, on the pitch? Ach, I, um, now I can tell you so many good things what happens in the last four or five months, you know, especially with FK Auda. We, we send in this transfer video, we send I think nine or ten players uh, somewhere and we, we, we achieve new players. We, um, we are on table very close to fourth place. We change players, we change formations. You know, but this soul, this glue between, uh, between team members is still still uh, here and also um, since six uh, six games in last six games we won five and one draw against away against mm -hmm. champion of latvia uh, with with young players with mukwiele 19 uh, jega uh, novikovas 19 um, ogunini 19 uh, ach, many many young players also players who played last season second uh, league in in latvia minkevich or um, s small uh, guy, Stjopa, okay, yeah. he, we missed him against the LFS, but you know, many, many good, pl uh, many, many good young uh, uh, players and also we, we gave them like home and nothing changed about result, but many changes, uh, normally unbelievable in professional football, mm -hmm. what happens actually in Auda. Uh, about formation, you, you start speaking about formation, for me, it's like, now I see different Auda. You start season with uh, three big defenders. Krapu, uh, Krapuhino was. Uh, it was uh, Mikulic, Mikulic, uh, um, Kodotkovs, and Stolnik. And um, Krapuhin uh, was striker. Striker also and big. Tutu, so yes. And Tutu. So all team was like uh, not fast, strong, but yes. uh, how to say stable stable yes. and uh, and also the game of Auda was uh, not fast uh, very clever always uh, zero like atletico uh, madrid, like atletico madrid <laughs> yes and now with rfs i see 180 degrees uh, yes. different Auda with uh, a little players very fast players uh, how it's uh, 
for you, like coach, to change this, I don't know, for two, three weeks, it's very difficult. No, I, um, when I go somewhere, I prepare 100% for this mission. Mm -hmm. I know exactly when a league in Latvia in March will start. I know it will be on artificial pitch, maybe it will be snow. It will be not, uh, ah. and you know, it's many uh, long balls, many yes. fights, many second, second balls. Ball. And I need type like this because I prepare because we come from second division. We come like Supernova or Tukum from second yeah. division. And then we need to survive in first uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten games. And then we will, uh, we will, uh, we will from this uh, stability feelings, we will develop some. Yes, some details and more creativity step by step. And it was our, our, our main goal uh, of uh, start of season. But now uh, eight uh, first 11 players left from FK Auda and we, we get new players and different kind of players, different kind of, of, of characteristics. And also uh, we, we have more speed, more, you know, more creative um, uh, process of these players yeah. is uh, more, more creativity. And, and, um, and that's why I choose 4-3-3 three, three, and I think we surprised RFS yes, also. Yes, uh, Victor Moros said on press conference that they wasn't ready and so they need time to adopt this. Uh, yes. Me too, I also on TV was surprised that uh, for 4-3-3. For, for, uh, four, three, three, yeah. But it's, you this, it's, it's, at the end it's very easy. If you are hungry you will eat, eat. not drink. Yeah. That's why I need as coach, I need to be empathic. I need to know, of course, uh, uh, football. I need to, to deal with some football tactic skills, of mm -hmm. course. And, but I need also to, 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 with my empathic, I need to, to read people and uh, to put them in these uh, organization systems and give them good, good match plan. Because you know, you sometimes if you play like LFS, we played last week, you, you need to close space where ball yes. Uh, uh, will come, and this is important. For example, Emerson, uh, yes. you put two fast players yes. in that zone, and uh... nobody saw Emerson. <laughs> nobody saw. Ustaisīsim mazu pauzi tī mūs saruna ar Tomislavu. Jums bija iespēja iesūtīt jautājumus Instagram BetSafe profilā. Šoreiz ir diezgan today. You have many supporters and many questions and many interesting questions. First one is uh, Van Sans is asking who's the FK Audas player with the most jokes on the mind? Who is the most funny maybe who, who makes jokes in the uh, team? Oh, well, this is... Uh, I'm not so oft in uh, players Gadelo, just for analyze yeah. and uh, because I don't want to lose my authority. <laughs> and... Uh, but uh, before was Bodja, uh, he moved to Tukums. Ah, okay. Uh, Bodja, uh, um, Bogdans, Samoylov, yes, Bodja. Samoylov, yeah. Samoylo, yes. And uh, now maybe, um, maybe Niang. Niang. This, this, this uh, funny guy. This yes. funny guy. Okay. <laughs> One question is funny. It's, you can't answer this because it's, I just spell it for, for fun. Why you leave Auda? <laughs> Serious, Some, somebody think that you are uh, like off Auda. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe <laughs> it's good. Maybe he is like priest now. <laughs> because Torsten Fink was also here after ah, you no, show he left. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> I <laughs> maybe, No, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, no, but it's it's nice questions. I maybe if some uh, some something happens, you never know in football. We are we, our time is limited. And uh, coach, uh, one one coach said, if you start working and yeah. second day prepare your offers, <laughs> yes, be yes, ready. Yes, nice. um, Andy is asking, Krolis or Illich? Interesting question. I think Krolis can play now in first Bundesliga in Germany, some clubs, Freiburg, Bochum, uh, in, uh, in less second table. Second fast. table, yes, who, uh, like this. Krolis is very interesting player, left foot fast, uh, big processor. Illich is, Illich is with more power. Illich is maybe for champion, for second division in England, actually. He's uh, like more uh, player of uh, this uh, yes. 16 meters. And also with finisher, finisher. Yes, he's now for this, I don't know, second division in England. Uh, Savalnieks or Mareš? Savalnieks, Liepaja, Mareš, RFS. Um, I think um, 
right back of Liepaja is uh, best assist. Uh, yes, 12, ass 12 yes. assists. And uh, Madaš is because he's right back and he's left back. I love them both because yeah. they are different. Yeah. This is maybe best left back in a league and he's uh, with, with uh, Ngonda from uh, Riga yes. FC. Madaš and these two, two player and the right side is uh, um, he's uh, very, very about good. Gonda you agree with me that uh, uh, in the Euro Cups in uh, Conference League we see different Gonda than in Virs Liga I think he's like motiv more motivated he fights no? yes this is uh, this is a platform uh, you, you don't need to, to show him. yes you don't need to ask coach to motivate players yeah. because they are really motivated uh, Zviedris or Matrevic Matrevic. I think Matrevic and Fabrice Ondoa. Mm -hmm. We don't need to forget Fabrice, yeah. our goalkeeper. Yeah. Matrevic and Fabrice. I think are he put this uh, Zviedris or Matrevic because they are Latvian yes. and Ondoa is like... These two guys, Matrevic and Ondoa, are for me uh, best in the league. Uh, Želisko or Strumje? This is the last one about this player. Uh, uh, Želisko. From Valmer. Okay. Uh, Rados Oh, two <laughs> asking, do you love your cousin aunt from USA? Uh, my cousin aunt from USA, of course, I love him. He last time he he sent to me uh, also shoes for 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 from America. From America, I was so proud. He surprised <laughs> me. Best. Uh, what kind of uh, we uh, can say? We can say Adidas Yeezy. Yeezy, he, it's uh, Kanye West. Yes, ah, okay. he sent to me like this and uh, I was so happy and surprised and I like him. So, he <laughs> loves you. Uh, Bai Banaudinia is asking, what is your favorite drink? Um, depends uh, group, uh, which group I choose, which, uh, which what people in this group drink. I can drink beer, wine, doesn't matter, water, coffee. I'm. I won't just be a part of of, of team. Mm -hmm. uh, Latvia's footballers have two or three questions. Uh, which player from this league could play in top five league? As Krolis? I said before, Krolis. As I said, um, 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 Žilisko. Uh, many, many good players, also especially uh, also Latvian players. Um, LFS has uh, Emerson, mm -hmm. a left uh, winger good player um, but I, I think now like I love Krolis and I know maybe some ways of, of, of former Latvian striker across Europe Dynamo Kiev mm -hmm. uh, or Hamburg or, and uh, like Rudnev and I think Krolis is like like a player who will uh, I think maybe play soon in league like this. But about Krolis what's your opinion uh, now is summer uh, better to stay in Valmera till the end of the season and in the winter in uh, in Europe is like uh, mid-season it's difficult to get a uh, team or how you see these uh, options for crawl is the best option to leave now like fast you can or to wait I never spoke with Krolis of course before I just uh, we met just on the pitch mm -hmm. for the fight but if I see his his profile if I he if I see his captain um, we don't need to be sensitive when we speak about Krolis, because with 21 years, captain scoring many goals, uh, is a leader in this team. National team player. National team player. You no need to care. Just take him and put him in summer now or in winter. He will adapt very fast. He, he must be a strong character mm -hmm. and he has abilities. He is not, not uh, slowly. He is left-footed. He can play as swinger. He can play as striker. He can play as like second, ten. Uh, uh, number 10 yeah. uh, between the lines. His processor is very fast thinking, working, and that's why you can put him now. And I think they should sell him, and uh, because this. So you are sure that uh, now or a little bit later uh, we will see Krolis on top five, top six. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are the best young Latvian footballers? Okay, Krolis. <laughs> I like Stopa. For me, this uh, this was <laughs> surprise. Serious, <laughs> like he playing Supernova. Yes. Because, you know, Stjopa is also uh, like number 10. You can mm. remember before 20 years, so number 10 was, yeah. you know, like, like um, players for magic moments, you mm -hmm. know. And Stjopa is like this, but I was so surprised. He played already his 
third scored. or fourth uh, year in this Liga, but he scored just but I in our first two goals. Even I didn't. I heard that there is a player uh, Stepanos, but I wasn't like uh, thinking about him. That uh, for me also it's surprising. After our second game in this Liga, we played in Supernova. After this game, I called the director. I said, director, bring me this Stepanos. He's famous player. Ah, how you uh, bring me? I said he is good player. And then we. But uh, if we answer this question, we have a lot of uh, young players in the league, and uh, now in Twitter was also there is Mena, Krolis, Emerson, Jalisco, and Gom. And, uh, you yes. have now yeah, uh, El Bashir. El Bashir, yes. yes. And Niang in Auda. Yeah. We have uh, also Ogunini, also Mukwiele, 19 years. We have. Uh, um, I think in Latvia you have really good good players. Also, league is 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 is, is good, is mm -hmm. strong. Um, maybe why it's little why some people underestimate this league is maybe maybe I don't know maybe it's not reason to underestimate. But I think uh, maybe we we should uh, we should more focus more on uh, on moments with the ball in Latvia. Because every team is good organized. Yes, but it's easier to to make organized defense than uh, put uh, uh, attack. Yes, like, like team. But it's like um, yes. But if we just focus, uh, if we, for example, focus in on our training session, 60, 70 percent of defense, we will take from them um, not directly, but we will take them step by step creativity mm -hmm. out from their 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 head. That's why we need also to maybe 60% uh, moments with ball, 40% defense. We need to change. I understand, something. and I now uh, remember when I go. I was 16 or 17. I was in junior age. I play in junior league. Yes. And uh, I I was lucky. I had coach who you are like uh, play in the forward, make what you want, uh, improvise, dribbling, yes. uh, blah blah blah. And then I, I was quite good, and me uh, one team FK Riga take me like young player on team. In one year, I forget about dribbling because coach be in the zone, be in the zone, run, yes. pass, and uh, one two year and all this my skills a little not of course not like I forget, but yes. I I I start use it less. Yes. So it's uh, it's about this from uh, young. Uh, young football to 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 uh, major football. It's also depends of coach. I yes, think. yes. I will try. I will test you. The last question from Instagram. Uh, your Latvian language. Vai garšua latviešu alus. <laughs> Sorry. No alus. No beer alus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you love uh, Latvian beer? Uh, yes, I like Madonis. Madonis. Madonis and also Valmierja. Valmier Mujer. Valmier uh, Mujer. It's good. It's good. Yes, it's good beer. Uh, after games in uh, Auda, you have pizza without beer? Uh, cola. Cola. Cola with sugar. It's for mental. Okay, coach, we start a little bit speak about Latvian uh, uh, football Virsliga level. Uh, your friend, uh, coach of ex coach of Riga, was here. Also, he said that. The level is uh, pretty high. Uh, where can we improve, like a league? Of course, I don't want to hear about infrastructure because everybody knows it, uh, and I hope that some some day uh, it will be better. I speak about uh, maybe uh, details: eight or twelve or ten teams. How do you see four four rounds? Now we have four rounds. How do you see the the best way for Latvian football? Um, um, summary of my yeah. answer is, is uh, first is culture. Mm -hmm. Culture is stronger than football. Culture is stronger than sport. In every single uh, country, you you know, um, uh, culture uh, desired uh, about sport. This is first and second uh, should be. I think uh, Latvia Latvian Football Association should invest in coach education mm -hmm. because also when I worked in China, it it it's, uh, it was very hard to. Um, you know, to to uh, put football in front of culture, 
They, and, they have different culture. Yes, different. And different culture. And culture is stronger because that's what I want to say is uh, how people eat, how people expect. Here is ice hockey, here is basketball, here is, you know, that this uh, kind of sport has more power. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's why what I want to say is you have some countries for, for ski, some countries for basketball, some countries for ice hockey. I think Latvia no need to be set about uh, maybe football is uh, on, on, on third position in, ah, in country. Not be set, yeah. Just accept, accept this thing, maybe basketball or ice hockey or whatever is, is stronger, but uh, on third position should be football. Okay, we accept this and we know that we don't have uh, maybe 10,000 or 20,000 during the games uh, supporters. We don't need this. This is just ad accept this. And second is, I think we should to, to, to invest in coach education. Mm -hmm. Because also, um, what I said before, we should uh, in Latvia focus more um, because I'm sometimes I watch my game on my training and I break, I stop. I said, guys, we are, have, we are now 20, 22 players. Uh, just, you can just expect ball in our training exercise. Uh, and why this ball surprise you? You have just... How uh, how it is you know, you because he he don't know you know he ah. he, he you know he expect ball but he don't know what is to do with ball you understand yeah, and he put him across the line so like this you know um, you know this this means we play uh, for example nine against nine plus two joker yeah. two ball positions yeah. switching sides some zones and uh, he should receive ball first touch and second touch to deliver this uh, somewhere but he's like his first touch is not good. He's under stress in moment when he uh, receive ball. He's under stress and he don't know where are option. It means just he can he uh, in this uh, game he can't uh, he can't be surprised from ball mm -hmm. because this this moment psychology, technique skills, tactic uh, reads the games, reads the spaces they don't have because in junior age yes in junior age and also in senior this bridge they focus more on defense. Mm -hmm. And this is, I think, it's most important also um, to, 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 but we, uh, Latvia need to invest in coach education, to, to give them space for mistakes, to give them space for mistakes, to, especially in academy. And also, uh, I think um, this is just these pa two parts. In some countries, it's football like religion, like in Germany, like in Croatia or in Brazil or French. And in Latvia, it's, uh, it's on third position. Just accept this. But what is the difference you said about religion, about um, mindset? For example, okay, don't we will don't take German yes. because for me it's not unfair. Latvia and German, it's yes. like uh, we will compare Auda and Atletico Madrid, for example. They have everything uh, yes. better. But Croatia, what is the biggest uh, difference between uh, Croatian football player and our Latvian? Creativity. Creativity? Creativity. Um, and also this, you know, for example, I don't know how to call, maybe you, your team lead 1-0 and uh, you, you maybe um, make, make ah, some waiting for referee breaks the time, games. Time wasting. Yes, because this football is uh, time wasting. Uh, they are very Simulation. clever. Simulation. That's why I think uh, also this game, Valmera, Shkendia, yeah, yeah. it's like this Nine team minutes. from Balkan, you know, they break the game, rhythm, dynamic. This is football is uh, more just 11 against 11. It's, it's many, many, many things. But I think when I uh, study in Dinamo Zagreb, also 2014, I was uh, there two weeks. It was interesting to see, um, for example, coach, head coach of under 12 or under 14, tell players, okay, uh, here is a uh, here is white paper. Here, please take this paper and organize your training. And the uh, coaching staff was just talking, and players eight or ten players take this gold, put it on this line, put it coins, put this, put. Ah, it's and started give, to yes, do. because it's more to uh, now it's more and more players should be coaches mm -hmm. on the pitch because coach outside the, outside the pitch make decisions. Mm -hmm. And also on the pitch, players should be coached like they should make decisions. Give them responsibility, give them support, give them trust, and they will have creativity. And in Latvia, no need to be everything perfect on the pitch. 
No need to shouting to players after first mistake. You know, that's why what I want to say, this bridge between culture and sport should be uh, maybe a little uh, optimized. Or... Optimized. Yeah. But you feel here, okay, yes, with Latvian players, with uh, foreign players, they understand you. Because my advantage is, you know, I'm like internationally. Yeah. My parents come from Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is a uh, former communism country. Um, we know Balticum here and what happens in past and also about uh, about um, um, and that's why I, my knowledge is German, you know. I worked in China also like uh, this communism country and I worked in Switzerland. I'm open minded, you know, mm. I'm I try to I feel really very, very good, very, very satisfied in Latvia. It's like my home. When you watch all the games from the side on TV, after game you make circle. Uh, during the game, I for, for for me, I feel that there is good atmosphere in the inside. Uh, what you do? Some special things, I know, uh, team uh, meetings, team building, uh, speak with players. What is the way to put? Uh, because you have Senegal, Latvia, ba Balkan, it was Germany. Germany. It's like uh, French. Yeah. What do you do? First of all, um, I tell you now a little. I open our secret. For me. Yes, for you. Just for you. Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, I tell my players always. Uh, I'm the same person after winning game and after losing game. But it's very difficult. Yes, but this must be, this gives stability to players. Okay, first, um, we are not king when we win and we are not dirty after we lose. Mm -hmm. um, um, I can tell you now a uh, story, what happens, uh, for example, after 45 minutes in Gadelova against LFS. Zero, zero? Yes, zero, zero. And it was after 45 minutes and I was speaking and I tell my players like, okay, uh, when you guys, we know it will be, they will maybe more. maybe break the game and they will have more, more possession. We should uh, keep our organization in defense and this, this, this. We need to communicate. And they, yes, coach. But I said, when you go to the city, you meet some girls, you need also uh, to communicate. <laughs> if you go if there. You and, want, if you want yes, something. And they are all smile, you know. This is one mix between, uh, between serious, between, yes. and between street football, because I put them sometimes back to. To, to be a child. Especially, I think it works sometimes with uh, guys from Africa. Uh, f for them, I think it's difficult when always is discipline, shouting, uh, you need this, you need this. For, for them, I think uh, if you put more uh, like, uh, how to say, improvising, that they feel better, no? I think you was football player, yeah. Yudis. After three Zingles training session, you know exactly about capacity of your coach. Mm -hmm. You know how is his knowledge, how he respect you, how he treat you. Uh, are you when you close your eyes, you will follow him or not? Yeah. You can actually not force any 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 one player to follow your coach. Mm -hmm. If they don't believe one hundred percent, you if uh, they not feel like you 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 bring uh, from them maximum to the pitch, they will not follow you. Some percent they stay in Gadelo. And then coach is dead. Yes, for, for a longer period. Yeah. Yes, that's why you, it's never about players, it's always about coach. Uh, about the leaders, uh, after the RFS game, you said uh, about Fabrice, very, very good words, but I want maybe a little more uh, details because he's uh, also a foreign player, yes, with good CV, but how he. Mm, work with guys or maybe speak, his captain, his leader. Uh, what happening in the dressing room, in the, in the pitch? Um, about Fabrice, it's a special story because I met him in Dubai. He came to, to meet us. Um, and I know we will have 50% maybe Latvian players mm -hmm. and 50% 50 pro 50 Foreign. foreigner players. And we need to have good balance, good communication. We need to re have a respectful atmosphere. And I look uh, which kind of character we have in Gadelov from Latvian players, which kind of foreigners. And uh, it was like Fabrice should be captain for good balance. And because he has uh, Auda, he has experience, he's 26 years old. He has um, 
everything to, you know, he's open-minded. And um, he was player like this. Um, I scouted him like this, you know. We don't need some special special things in Gardelov. Normally, uh, handshake. handshake is normally team building. If it's honestly, mm -hmm. you feel if it's from ho from bottom of your heart, you will feel it. And Fabrice is type like this, you know. He gives you handshake and, and we spoke about this in front of all players and this, this, this. And that's why everybody follow him like this. It's great because uh, it's not uh, often when uh, foreign players who play only first uh, year and he's captain of the team. It's, uh, it sounds like this guy you can uh, uh, believe in. So about your philosophy, what kind? Imagine you are very rich club. You have a rich club. You, you can uh, have every player in the world. What uh, kind of game will play a team of uh, Tomislav Stipic? Ach, always attacking modus. <laughs> attacking. When opponent has ball, we attack the ball. Ah, we this quote was very good in your CV. I like it. Uh, tell uh, tell one more time. Uh, it's uh, it, I like it. <laughs> If no. you have ball, yes. attack. Uh, no, um, it's like with red uh, with red sense. Uh, like uh, always attacking modus. It's like when opponent has ball, mm -hmm. we attack the ball. Mm -hmm. When we have ball, we attack the goal of the opponent. Oh, so uh, no way to defend. It's uh, no oh, attacking, attacking. Because attacking. I come from Germany and Germany develop players like this. I come, I worked six, seven years in academy. Mm -hmm. uh, two times with under 17, I won championship in Germany. And that's why it's like, for example, um, uh, you don't need to take care about defense like this, you know, especially. You just develop players and uh, you, you give them support, you give them energy, you give them good plan, attack the ball and when you have Uh, you know, switch side, uh, recovery during mm -hmm. the ball and then take position and then attack against the goal of the opponent. That's why I'm like here uh, from academy. I'm not former big player mm -hmm. who is just for result. Um, I'm my, my, my also ability is a part to develop better. So in Auda, you, we spoke before, you have uh, many young players uh, now and uh, you work with them individually, you speak with them because if you have For example, Ulimbashov, who is uh, 30 years. Yes. I think uh, you don't need to speak uh, with him so so many times than uh, with Mukwele or Oguni. Uh, it, it's uh, there is different. <laughs> <laughs> um, should be different, but Ulimbashov is also a detail obsession player. Yeah. He is. Um, it will be interesting what he say maybe about me because I work really a lot with him also individual. He's 30 years, but. Um, I think also a player with 35 can develop because um, and uh, I think he also develop um, and uh, we work a lot individual, we cut individual analysis, we, we speak on the pitch, we put players on their position, with, uh, we, we tell them, we give them on their way uh, which kind of moves they, they should do to, to bring us success, yes. Uh, you work on TV like an expert. Uh... <laughs> Like we also colleagues, uh, I I have a question. You are coach, but also you was working on TV like uh, expert analyze. Uh, does it helps you when you work when you put formation, uh, work with team, or it's different? Absolutely, absolutely. It was like uh, come out of your comfort zone. I was expert in uh, TV live live show. Many, many, many hundred thousand of people mm -hmm. at the same time watch this uh, TV, national TV. Croatia. Yes. And um, of course you have pressure because... Um, What is bigger pressure in the outdoor like coach <laughs> or on Croatia TV? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, because I know exactly every single detail about coach. Yeah, and yeah. I never, I love so much my job, you know, it's like calling, it's not a job. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, when I can stay in front of my players, I'm, I'm in comfort zone, I love them and we, they follow and this uh, is all but on TV you know you you have one um, you know you have um, you have two teams they play against each other you need to find good compromise good analyze very close to to honestly analyze mm -hmm. because everybody of us watch game and he has own uh, analysis but you as expert people speak about you then next few days and uh, the, uh, of Tom course yeah, say this and this and this and this 
No, because it was it was very interesting for me because also in football uh, players uh, go uh, grow very fast and they uh, achieve big money and good career, but nobody care about their PR in really how to speak about uh, under pressure, how to speak uh, in front of cameras, yeah. and this was good for me to learn how to be natural, how to be positive, how to have uh, your charism and everything. good school. Best school, and I'm so thankful, and I'm a little sad because they offered me to be an expert during World Cup in Qatar, and I took this job in in Auda, and I don't know now what uh, I think. Uh, they are a little sad, but maybe they changed their mind and they take me again because we have break. <laughs> uh, I want to wish you don't go to TV. It's uh, <laughs> it will uh, fact that you coach. Uh, for me, I think uh, for you it's better like be the coach, and uh, I think. Auda play in cup. You yes. have uh, two, no, three games to uh, Euro Cups. We have 270 minutes to, to, to Euro Cup. And now it's a little difficult because we wish Valmeda today um, mm -hmm. in win Macedonia. In, in Macedon Macedonia and uh, to, to qualify for third round. Then they will be maybe a little tired. Ah. This is in our head yeah. to, to, to win this game. But uh, I think uh, it's game 50-50. It's a final game. It's not a league game. Mm -hmm. No correct shot. Every single mistake is painful. That's why we have our chance. It's uh, another tournament, like I said. Uh, okay, last one uh, about China. I think our uh, spectators uh, uh, who watch, uh, it's also interesting. Uh, uh, the biggest shock in China football for you? <laughs> uh, first, biggest shock happens in social life. I, after one raining day, after training session, I went first of all uh, in a restaurant yeah. and it was so big, uh, big soup, uh, I don't know how to call yeah, okay. it. And I took, uh, because I was so frozen and I took this soup and <gasps> without my, 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 my translator yeah. and uh, I already eat it and he comes then to the restaurant and said, coach, no, no eat. I said, why? Because I, I spoke with him before, she mu he must always explain me what is inside. And it was in Guangzhou, it was snake. It was young dog, uh, the, uh, younger than three months, and it was a uh, turtle. And he told me this. And I, I was smiling because I don't believe. And he took me and coach with, and he, and I saw this. Eight days, I can't eat anything. Eight days, and I saw up everything. And I, I had uh, four days. I have, um, I had a temperature. It was like my my head go crazy. But they eat this? Yes, they eat Guangzhou. They eat the soup like this. Everybody and mm. also players. This happens, <laughs> but in football it was like, you know, in football was um, with translator. Now it's English is not my, 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 my mother language, yeah. but I can also speak a little English, German. Now I learn Latvian and Russian also and to, to, to catch their emotions because they have players from all countries. But uh, it was very difficult, you know, to speak something and then wait, he translate and uh, Yes, it was like this. But Chinese players, uh, I think the the best is uh, Chinese uh, is uh, discipline. Yes, there is no problem with discipline. I can tell you something. What happens in China? Uh, we had uh, we started our preparation, and we train two times per day. And one day I gave them day off. My president called me. He said, Coach, why is day off today? I said, because now five days in a row, two times training session and uh, we should rest this day okay, and really. because he said no. And he ordered his team manager. He said, OK, put all players on the pitch in two hours. They, they train with uh, uh, some Chinese coach without, you. Me, without me. And I was like, what happens? Broke everything, you know, in my head, in my heart, all my structure. You write a uh, yes. weak cycle, yes. like uh, here yes. is a big key and, day. And then I understood uh, is, is in China is more is more, you know. <laughs> and this is, you know, what I spoke about culture. And that's why, you know, you can bring uh, Angelotti, you can bring uh, Capello, you can bring uh, Cannavaro, you can bring Zidane, you can bring coaches, famous coaches from all the world, uh, Brazilian coaches to China, football will not develop because their culture okay. is so strong. I love this culture, I love this, but for football, it's not not uh, mm. right culture. So you didn't, uh, in future, you didn't give a day off 
for them. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I find some compromise because I start to swim <laughs> between the cultures. Swim, tennis ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, coach, it was, uh, I, I hope you like it. Asterokem Spatika Sarona. For me, it was uh, one hour, like uh, five minutes. Uh, I wish you luck with Auda in Cup in uh, Latvia Virsliga. And uh, I hope you will develop your career. You have uh, till till this point, you have good career. I think it's not the end, and uh, yeah. we will see you on a big stage uh, in TV. Oh, which uh, which nice was you was you? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you much. Paldies, ka skatījāties, abonējiet kanālu un tiekamies uh, nākošreiz būs interesanti.